If you want to know how to spice up your boring 2D image or footage in DaVinci Resolve, you're in the right place because I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that by using a DV node in Fusion. So let's jump right into it. So we are in here. I have a screenshot of uh, a YouTube homepage and we are gonna make this look a lot better. So first, let's bring in our Fusion composition. Okay, now we have it. So let's jump right into Fusion. So now we are in Fusion. Let's uh, add our background. Let's connect it over here. Let's add our screenshot. Just merge it over like this. Uh, so we want our background to be the same exact color. So click on the background and just click the big whip and bring it over to the YouTube background. So now it looks like this. Everything is the same color which is nice now we can actually add our dv node so just press shift and space and this uh, window will pop up and just type in dve okay now we have our dve here so on the right side we have some new controls we have rotations we have something called z boom z pivot center pivot and everything like that and perspective so these are all DVE settings and what we can do actually we can make this 2D image 3D with this DVE node. As you can see we mess with the X rotation controls and it rotates on the X axis. When we mess with the Y it rotates on the Y axis and with Z on the Z axis. So what, what can we do? We can actually make y rotation something like i would say around 10. okay that looks nice we can bring it our z move so now it's zoomed in and we can start from somewhere here maybe something like this okay and we can actually keyframe it to something like 50 frames Let's click keyframe here, go back to zero, one more keyframe, go to the other keyframe and just, we can just move this however we like. We can move it something like this. And now when we play it, it looks a bit nicer, but our movement is a linear. So what we can do, click on the DV node, go to spline, DV and just select all and press S on our keyboard. And if you don't have this easy knees out, press T and it will pop up and we can mess with easy and ease out controls. And we can make it something like this. Let's see how it looks. Oh, now it looks nicer, but we can actually spice it up a bit more. And for that, we are gonna have a different approach to this. Let's delete our TV and merges. Now we are going to add a multi merge and just merge this over this okay, like this. And then we are going to copy this, paste it right to the multi merge. We are going to need a rectangle mask and we are going to connect it to this. Now Let's just get this interviewer. Okay, we are gonna mask out this thumbnail here. Let's bring it like this here. Put our width down. Just a tad bit more, something like this. And also our height down. Let's get it up. Just get the high down a bit more and just increase our corner radius to something like this. Okay, now that we have this, let's go here. So nothing's changed, but now we are gonna copy our background. Let's just copy it like this, and we are gonna copy our rectangle mask and connect it to our background. Now, because the resolutions are different, our mask is a bit bigger, so 
let's fix it let's get here again and just get our width down and our height down we can leave it and just increase our height a little bit and we can actually leave it like this nice now we need another multi-merge node let's add it in right here let's connect this here and then connect our background to our multi-merge now let's add our dve node just add it like this or let's bring it somewhere around here don't worry about this one it will come after when we are done with this db we're just gonna copy it over so let's do something like this something like this we can work with and something like this just let's make it a bit higher up so firstly we can actually animate this coming in so let's go to frame zero I click the key frame on the center go some 35 to 40 frames let's go to 40 frames forward click another keyframe go back and just bring it down on the y-axis so it goes down and now it looks something like this but we actually can make it even better let's go to the spline open it select all keyframes and press s on our keyboard and if you don't see this is in, in ease out uh just press t on your keyboard and it will show up let's increase our ease in and ease out so it looks something like this which looks amazing okay now what can we do we can actually increase our pivot for a bit let's go something like this okay now we can copy this over to our and it looks something like this so now everything moves together as you can see and it looks so nice okay next thing to do would be to make some distance between between these two elements so let's go to our dve and just keyframe our pivot and go some 15 frames forward and just make it bigger like this so now as you can see it looks something like this and something like this so we are essentially bringing out just this one thumbnail okay what can we do now we can actually add some shadow so drop shadow let's add our drop shadow so it looks nicer let's bring it in shadow strength let's just bring it in like this bring it up i mean and we can actually go to frame 40 and keyframe our shadow strength go to frame 55 keyframe it again and go to the beginning and just drop it down so it looks something like this now we have a nice drop shadow down below what we actually can do now we can add some glow just add a bit, little bit of glow and just decrease our go to frame 40 keyframe our glow go to frame 55 keyframe our flow again uh, glow again and just on the first keyframe make it zero so let's see how this actually looks now we can go back to the first dve and go to the spline editor and click on z pivot zoom to fit and let's just adjust this process make easy knees out a bit more so it looks even nicer okay that's it. amazing 
So that's about it. If you want to improve your editing game, uh, this is certainly something that I would want to have in my repertoire. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to learn how to animate like Imangaji, this is the video for you.